one of my first assignments as a graduate teaching assistant at Ohio State University was to be a breakout session facilitator for a teacher education course, Introduction to Issues in Language, Literacy, and Culture, taught by Dr. Clark. And one great aspect of being an educator is that we gain insights from grading our students' assignments. And I would like to share the insights that I gained from reading my students' personal literacy narratives. On the day I sat and read a class set of personal literacy narratives, I discovered a great variety of family histories and school experiences. With interest, I read of a three-generation Italian family that became more American over time, of a German father who passed on his culture to his children through traditional German tales, of Korean parents whose daughters wouldn't share their struggles to learn English, of a Chilean mother who advocated for her daughters at a school that mistook their difference for deficient. I read of parents who speak their own brand of English and their children who love and accept them. Of parents who knew the wisdom of reading books at bedtime and parents who passed on the habit of reading the newspaper. I read of a mother who became the best teacher to her daughter who needed a little extra help catching up. I read of expert teachers who taught their students to speak the English that would be best for college and the workplace, to analyze every angle of an issue and formulate a response, to patiently edit a paper until it was suitable for academia. In the process, these teachers created lasting memories of effective teaching in the hearts and minds of future educators. I read of significant literacy events, such as spelling bees, poetry contests, internet surfing, first college papers, and foreign language lessons. I read of personal literacy journeys that took place across many foreign countries in the literature rich library in a unique classroom setting and at home under the influence of parents. So this assignment served to remind me that one eternal joy of teaching is seeing the world from a student's perspective. Thank you class for the insight that you gave me.